we're on the last step of prayer, the step in our four-step series on how to fulfill the mitzvah of prayer. Remember, R pat, R is recognize, P is praise, A is ask. So what's T? What's the last step of prayer? The last step is thank. Thank you. To recognize the good that the Almighty has done for us and to thank Him. In our prayers, there's an interesting part in the silent and media, the Shemona Esrei, where in the repetition, it says the, it's the modim of the rabbis, where we thank God for inspiring us to thank Him. God has it all. He has no needs. You think he needs your thanks? You think that's what he's in this for? No. Obviously the thanks are not for God. It's for us. It changes us. That God, we thank God and we thank him for inspiring us to thank him. Why? Because we need this. We need to recognize the good. When my kids were little, I would, put their, I would dress them in the morning and every time I would put something on them, I would tell them where it's from. All right, let's put on, even before they could talk, let's put on your sweater. Who bought me the sweater? Bubby bought me the sweater. Thank you, Bubby, for the sweater. Before they understood blessings, we would say, thank you for the food. When we would leave the bathroom, before they understood the prayer you're supposed to say after going to the bathroom, I would just teach them, thank you. Thank you, Hashem for making my body work. Over and over again. Why do we teach our kids to say thank you? So we're not embarrassed in front of the waiter, in front of your mother-in-law? There is something much deeper going on. We want them to understand that there's a source to everything, that you should recognize the source, that you should have gratitude. Why? Because a person who is not grateful is not happy. At the moment, you're happy you got what you wanted. But if you don't recognize it, you don't recognize where it came from, you're going to miss out on the deep pleasure that everything in my life is a gift. If you don't say thank you, your life looks exactly the same, but you're going to miss out on the pleasure. If roses came to your door and you're, wow, this is so great, I have these flowers, it's so very nice. You put them in the vase, it's very nice, but there's no card. There's still roses and they're still pretty. I wonder who gave them to me. But if it came with the card, those flowers from that special person, the pleasure is so much greater. The Almighty every day sends us flowers that comes with a card. The card says, love Hashem. Enjoy. Take pleasure. Say thank you. I'm Lori, almost live.